Hello, welcome to On the Porch with Kevin Stoda and the Kevin Stoda channel. Uh, please note uh, that we're going to cover today 10 Who Must Win According to the Sierra Club. 10 Who Must Win According to the Sierra Club. Now, Sierra Club over the years has made some mistakes. For example, uh, we've gotten really hyper focused on the overpopulation uh, at times and has forgotten to support immigrants' rights and other things because uh, they represent uh, people often fleeing from environmentally dangerous places or uh, places where the environment is, is uh, really under attack and they're not able to survive there. So uh, they've gotten away from that in recent years and are more in helpful to migrants. So I support Sierra now. Um, Sierra Club has uh, a list of candidates uh, that you need your help uh, to get elected in November. They're pro-environment candidates, and here are um, 10 of them. The first one is Mark Kelly. Uh, as an astronaut, Mark Kelly understands the science, the data, and facts about climate change. He knows the climate crisis affects our economy, uh, environment, and health, and puts access to clean water at risk. Mark Kelly wants to invest in the development of technologies that make renewable energy more affordable and transition to a renewable economy possible. He says, the impact of climate change, the scars that it's leaving on our planet is visible from above. So he's seen it in the sky uh, over the earth. Uh, we have also a candidate named Xochitl Torres Small. Xochitl Torres Small. Um, as a previous, uh, she's in New Mexico, second district. Um, as a previous water rights attorney, Representative Torres Small understands the need to plan and secure clean water in New Mexico. During her time in Congress, she has worked to improve water management through investment in water infrastructure, and as well as opposing Trump's wall and introducing the Chaco Cultural Heritage Area Protection Act, uh, a bill to withdraw the federal lands around Chaco Canyon from further mi mineral development. I've been to Chaco Canyon tonight. I really enjoyed it. I hope you all can go out there too. Um, we have now also, uh, somebody else who must win, his name is Mark, Matt Cartwright. Matt, Matt Cartwright. Matt Cartwright has a strong environmental voting record. He understands that we need to protect our national forests and national monuments. Uh, I should say he's running in Pennsylvania 8th, 8th District. He has been a leader on legislation to hold polluters accountable, clean up polluted sites, and ensure safe drinking water. He says the damaging effects of climate change and extreme weather are becoming more apparent, not just on our coast, but all across the nation. Another uh, candidate to support in Illinois' 14th district is Laura Underwood. Uh, Representative Underwood understands the need to protect and, res and have a responsible fund uh, funding of the Environmental Protection Agency. She understands how important it is to have environmental protections in our country. And she uh, wants environment protections in all the smaller communities and have clean water and air too. She understands the need for strong safeguards for pollutants that harm our environment and our health. She says, the Trump administration has cut the EPA budget by over a third in the last year, and this is unacceptable. Trump's done worse than that, I think. Um, in Massachusetts, uh, support Senator Ed Markley. Uh, Ed Markey, excuse me. Senator Markey is a climate champion throughout his time in the House, and now as a senator, Markey has been a strong advocate for clean energy and climate solutions. Markey introduced the Green New Deal in the Senate and wrote laws that improve fuel economy and energy efficiency. Um, he is a longtime leader in protecting the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge, uh, blocking offshore 
drilling and promoting clean air, water, and environment. Simply put, he's the best partner we've ever had, says the Sierra Club. Uh, he says, we are seeing the dramatic effects of the climate crisis every day with floods, hurricanes, wildfires, and rising seas all worsening as we fail to act. We cannot afford business as usual where fossil fuel companies get to play by their own rules. Yeah, and at this time when we're worried about our economy and the COVID crisis, we need to be transforming that economy too, uh, to protect the environment. And we need to get forward thinking candidates and also candidates who are ready to act in 2021 to make sure that never again do we have a do nothing Senate like we have now. Uh, then we have Representative Elena Luria from Virginia 2nd District. Uh, Representative Luria understands the threat to clean air and water. She has worked to protect Virginia's waterways and has fought to secure billions in funding to help achieve that work. Uh, Laura Luria is a key voice in Congress on the need to protect our coastlines and coastal economies. Offshore drilling, she says, threatens our national security and safety of our sailors and our tourism economy by spoiling our beautiful beaches and shorelines. Um, in Michigan's 8th District, there's Representative Elisa Slotkin. Uh, Representative Slotkin is a strong supporter of clean water. She understands that preserving our Great Lakes is essential to keeping families healthy and our economy strong. She will continue to stand up to polluters and make sure our natural resources are protected. Uh, she says, a threat to our, our environment is a threat to our security and a threat to our way of life. I do not believe that a strong economy and a clean environment are mutually exclusive. Me neither, and you shouldn't either. So you should uh, support a candidate like uh, Lisa Slutkin in Michigan. Um, another candidate to support is in, in California's 49th district. We've got Representative Mike Levin. Uh, Levin has introduced uh, HR 2764, the Zero Emissions Vehicles and Green Vehicles Act of 2019 which sets a schedule for increasing the percentage of zero emission vehicles a manufacturer uh, delivers for sale with the goal of mandating only zero emission vehicles by 2040 onwards. Uh, Representative Levin has also co-sponsored legislation that would protect our coast from the threat of offshore drilling. Uh, Levin says, our children's future depends on the steps we take now to protect the air we breathe and the water we drink, and we can do that while creating good, clean energy jobs. Again, this is what we need to be thinking about right now, creating good, clean energy jobs, America. The fossil fuel industry has had a vice grip on Washington for far too long, and I'm ready for a change, says Levin. Um, Representative uh, Jason Crow of Colorado 6th District is another person to support. Um, Representative Crow has been a strong defender of public lands. In Congress, he has worked to promote resilience, reduce pollution, and take on the climate crisis. Crow is fighting for a clean energy economy that promotes family sustainable jobs and family sustaining jobs. Uh, America must leave up live up to its uh, role as a global leader to help solve our world's most pressing problems, especially climate change, uh, Jason Crow says. Finally, uh, we need to support Representative uh, Debbie Mercarcel Powell of Florida's 26th District. Representative Mercarcel Powell is at the forefront of the fight for environmental protections. As part of the Everglades Caucus, she works to protect our coral reefs, protect our clean water, and to address climate crisis. She will be a strong advocate for our work and our movement, says the CR Club. Well, we need to have candidates like that all across the country, even in Missouri and Kansas, people. Let's uh, make sure that happens. Uh, McCurs uh, Debbie McCursal Powell says, the climate crisis, one of the most pressing issues facing our country has led to increased flooding and extreme storms which have forced thousands of families out of their homes and negatively impacted South Florida's fishing and tourism industry and the economy of America as a whole. Um, I think uh, those are good 10 people to vote for. I would like more people to run. It may be a little bit late in the year to run, 
but whatever you do, uh, clear out the Deadwood in the Senate um, where too many uh, old father candidates are just uh, taking money from the oil and, and destroying the best of America. We need to end this. We need to also stop wasting a lot of money and production on things that are not important like uh, unlimited uh, military might. Um, let the corporations find a way to fund the military they want, but they don't need to take it from us. And we need to reduce their power overall. Uh, we need to do that in order to transform our economy. There's uh, over two trillion a year, three trillion, four trillion probably a year that we spent paying off past debts that the military has run up. And uh, we need to stop making the social system and the environment pay for this nonsense or this horror. All right, thank you for supporting the environmental candidates. I'll again read them off. There's Mark Kelly, Senator uh, for Arizona. Uh, Representative Xochitl Torres Small of New Mexico 2nd District. Matt Cartwright, Pennsylvania's 8th District. Uh, Lauren Underwood, Illinois' 14th District. Senator Ed Markey, U.S. Uh, Senator from Massachusetts. Uh, Representative Elena Luria, who, who also must win. And rep, uh, she's from Virginia. And Representative Elisa Slotkin of Michigan. We need uh, Representative Mike Levin to win in California again. And Representative Jason Crow in the Colorado 6th District. We need uh, finally uh, to see Representative Debbie Mur Mukarsel Powell win in Florida's 26th District. Oh, really? Get out there and find a way to support candidates this summer. Uh, check with Sierra Club online, see if there's any uh, way you can get involved with them. You can also look at uh, Nature's Defenders and other organizations. Um, support your, um, uh, as I do, support the national parks. And, and there are many ways you can really help uh, America and the world and our children have a better future enjoying the environment. God bless you. This is Kevin Stoda. I hope you enjoyed the channel.